beginning of the Haradrim, they were engaging in the hunt for the three. And they realized they would need an artifact of immense power. So they created this cube, and it was terrifying in its implications, all the things that it could do. And so they used it for a long time to help them, but they were aware of the dangers of corruption. So they took the cube and sent it off to be guarded by this secret society of barbarians. The barbarians guarded it for many years until the fall of Sesheron, when a barbarian leader named Kanai was killed. Kanai, it turned out, was the last keeper of that cube. So at the time that it enters the, the world of Diablo III, it's called Kanai's Cube. When it was originally hidden away, there was one of the ancient Haradrim uh, did not agree that it should be hidden away, and that was Zoltan Cool. In the game, he appears and tells the player that you know the, there was this ancient cube, and they hid it away from me because it was too powerful. But it's it's in this general area, and if you can go to this place, you'll find it. So one of the biggest things that the cube can do for you out of the many features of it is it'll allow you to take the powers of legendary items and extract them out of the item and add them to this sort of collection system. Once you've extracted the power, you can take a handful of your powers and turn them on and infuse your character with those powers without using the item. So if you really want to use your Ring of Royal Grandeur, but your ring slots are focused and restraint, you could do that. Uh, if you want to have multiple quiver powers on your demon hunter, you can do that too. We've got a lot of really cool features in the cube, and I'm looking forward to adding even more over time after people have gotten their hands on it and start coming up with these really awesome ideas that they want to see. Kanai's cube is named after King Kanai, who is named after our uh, friend and coworker. Kevin Kanai Griffith, who recently passed away during uh, the development of Diablo 3. Kevin was really a trailblazer on our team. Usually when we'd have a new area, he would be the first guy to get in there and start putting stuff together. The ice caves is one of the things that he had made. And he had made the ice caves in like a week, a week or two, the whole freaking level. And he was really scrappy, really clever, really uh, quick and resourceful. He also worked on randomizing a lot of the environments. When you play through rifts or you play through adventure mode, the lighting will be different or you'll be in Tristram and sometimes it'll be raining and sometimes it'll be daytime or you'll be in Stingwinds and sometimes it's nighttime. And that's something that the fans really wanted. And Kevin was a hardcore fan, and so his mindset was always like, what would I want to play? He wanted to see there be a Herodic cube. He wanted to see there be a barbarian temple. It, it means a lot to me to be able to make those things happen. I got to work on the effects for King Kanai, and in designing him, I tried to make him be an orange ghost that was like um, an embodiment of barbarian fury. Kevin's very particular about how his barbarian looked. And so this is the same armor set that was on his character. And so it's really awesome to be able to take that same barbarian and put him on the throne and to have that barbarian being this churning orange like creature of fury um, as, a, as a tribute to my friend. Thanks for joining us for this inside look into Kanai's Cube. If you'd like to learn more about Patch 2.3 or the Cube, head on over to Diablo3.com or click the link below.